Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi performed the Eid al-Adha prayers on Tuesday morning. The prayers were held at the mosque of Malik al-Mulk in the heritage area in the new al Alamein city. The prayers were attended by Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, Minister of Defense Mohammed Zaki, Chief of Staff Mohammed Farid, and a number of cabinet ministers and state senior officials. The Eid ceremony, which was entitled Trusting God, was delivered by Is Sayyid Abdel Bari. Following the Eid prayers, President Sisi listened to a briefing by the Minister of Housing, Asim Gazar, on the projects currently being executed in the new Al Alamein city. In his briefing, Al Gazar highlighted the most important projects, including the City of Arts and Culture. Earlier on Monday, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi exchanged greetings on Eid al Adha occasion with Prince of Qatar Tamim bin Hamad al Thani in a phone call. President al Sisi also exchanged greetings with Emir of Kuwait Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabr al Subah via phone call. In the phone call, President al Sisi wished prosperity and progress for the brotherly state. For his part, the Kuwaiti Emir expressed his appreciation to the gesture wishing peace and stability for Egypt. The head of state also exchanged greetings with Tunisian President Qais Said on Eid al Adha. The President held another phone call with Iraqi President Burham Saleh greeting him on Eid al Adha and wishing Iraq security, peace, and stability. President al Sisi also greeted Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa. Khadimi. The President exchanged greetings with Algerian President Abdel Majid Taboun. Earlier, President Sisi also received a phone call from Abu Dhabi Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on Eid al Adha occasion. President Abdel Fattah Sisi on Monday greeted the Egyptian people and the Muslim world on the occasion of Eid al Adha. The head of state tweeted that the occasion represented noble meanings such as sacrifice. President Sisi also wished welfare and prosperity for the whole nation. Egypt's First Lady, Ms. Intasar Sisi, sent her greetings to all Egyptian people on her social media accounts, greeting them and the whole Muslim nation on the occasion of Eid al-Adha. The First Lady said that compassion, tolerance and love were exhibited in this feast as she prayed that God would restore these blessed days to Egypt with many blessings, happiness and good hope. Meanwhile, Muslim pilgrims cast sanitized pebbles Monday as they took part in the stoning of the devil, the last major ritual of this year's Hajj, which is again under the tight coronavirus restrictions from first light. Small groups of pilgrims made their way across the valley of Mina near Mecca in the western Saudi Arabia to symbolically humiliate the devil at the Jamarat al-Aqaba mosque. More details in the following story. Muslim pilgrims cast sanitized pebbles Monday as they took part in the stoning of the devil, the last major ritual of this year's Hajj, which is again under tight coronavirus restrictions. For first light, small groups of pilgrims made their way across the valley of Mina, near Mecca in western Saudi Arabia, to symbolically humiliate the devil at the Jamra al Aqaba Mosque. Wearing masks and the ihram, the pilgrims' seamless white garment. They each threw seven stones at a pillar symbolizing Satan, taking them from sealed bags provided by the authorities. The stoning ritual has in past years led to deadly stampedes as millions of participants converge on a tight space. Saudi authorities downsized the Hajj and just 60,000 fully vaccinated citizens and residents of the kingdom are taking part up to 10,000 last year. The Hajj, one of the five pillars of Islam and a must for able-bodied Muslims who have the means at least one in their lifetime, is usually one of the world's largest religious gatherings with 2.5 million taking part in 2019. After the stoning ritual, pilgrims returned to the Grand Mosque of Mecca to perform a final tawaf or circling of the Kaaba. This year's Hajj is being held at a time when a new variants of the virus are causing global concern. Saudi Arabia has recorded more than 510,000 cases of coronavirus, including 8,089 deaths. Pilgrims were chosen in a lottery among 558,000 Saudi residents and nationals who had to be between 18 and 65 years old, vaccinated and free of chronic diseases. All the workers mobilized by the Hajj have been fully vaccinated as well.
And Saudi Arabia's King Salman said on Monday in a televised speech that the kingdom's efforts limit the effects of coronavirus have been successful. A suicide bomber killed at least 35 people.